guys, it's Nassim here. Now, before I start the video, I want to give a quick yet bold disclaimer. The Pixel 7 Pro is the smoothest Android to date. There, I said it. Now, the Pixel 7 Pro is the one phone that has fixed all of its problems from last year. Overall, it feels the exact same as the Pixel 6 Pro, but there are some improvements that I think many Pixel owners will appreciate. The Pixel 7 Pro now has a much better fingerprint sensor, it has a slightly more powerful chip, it has a slightly better build quality, it now has facial recognition, it has new camera features, and it has a slightly better experience that is overall really nice, and that's honestly what I love about it. Also, I really love the fact that the 7 Pro is the smartest phone in the market. This is literally the only phone where I was comfortable using voice commands because there was rarely any times where it couldn't understand me. Also, the fact that my phone could detect with song I'm playing in the background without me having to ask it was really cool. So Siri, Bixby, and Alexa, please take notes. But besides all of the cool stuff that the Pixel 7 Pro can do, I wanted to share my experience with you guys to help you decide whether or not the 7 Pro is actually worth buying. But before I do that, I want to give a shout out to today's sponsor, Pivo. Now, Pivo is a company that specializes in many different creator tools that can help you create better by yourself. And as a creator who shoots and films everything by myself, I was very impressed with everything Pivo had to offer and it made making videos even easier. And Pivo has a wide range of amazing products, starting with their wireless mic that captures audio beautifully, the smart video light that has many different modes of brightness, their smart and action mounts that helps you capture the best shots possible, their tripod that is leagues ahead of its competition, which results in better shots overall, and last but not least, the Pivo Pod, which allows you to auto check your subject along with many other cool features and the pivo pie is by far my favorite tool to use when helping me create videos Its face and body tracking feature is able to detect the shape of you and keeps you in the frame perfectly which really helps a lot when showing myself with the phone Now the Pivo Smart Video Light was another key factor that helped me create videos even easier. I really loved how it had different light modes that can combat different environments and make the shots look even better. It's also dust proof and lightweight which makes it even more durable and easy to use. And the last key factor that really made my setup easier was the wireless mic. It has a clip on design that makes it easy to put on. It can also capture audio up to 200 feet, it has amazing noise cancelling technology, and it has 6 hours of battery life which really adds to its reliability. And with all the benefits of getting these Pivo products, you can also get 10% off when you enter my code and don't worry it'll also be in the description and comment section of today's video and again i wanted to thank pivo for sponsoring a portion of today's video now something that i really liked about the pixel 7 pro was how well it was able to run the latest versions of android while i was using my 7 pro i was on android 13 and it handled it just as smooth as any other top tier android flagship there were rarely any lags everything felt buttery smooth and it gave me a very good feeling that i could use it as my daily phone the 7 pro was also able to handle power heavy apps really well surprisingly whenever i would play power heavy games i rarely got any lags also whenever I was using other apps, the phone would get hot and the software was still working just fine, as opposed to a lot of other phones that freeze and shut down on me. But besides that, it still had those premium software features that really keep you immersed within the phone, and I would definitely say that it's the smoothest Android experience to date. It had that premium smoothness that even with the minor bugs was a joy of using, and if you are considering getting this phone, then using less power heavy apps will improve the performance and minimize the bugs. Now the Pixel 7 Pro has a 6.7 inch display that I must say was one of the best displays that you can get on the phone when it comes to this price. I also love the fact that despite the lower price, Google still managed to put a 120Hz refresh rate on it and mind you, the iPhone 14 Plus costs more than this phone, even after tax. And I will say the display looked really amazing. Like right here, you can see me scrolling through the OS and it looks as smooth as ever. Doing simple things like going through apps and being on social media were much better than if it were 60 hertz or even 90 hertz. The screen was much brighter than last year. I was really happy with the fact that they improved it because now I'm able to see better. Whenever I'm going to work or the gym, I will be outside on a sunny day and pull out my phone. And as soon as I turn the brightness all the way up, I was very happy to see that the display improved. Now, one thing that I will say is that the fingerprint sensor has gotten so much better since the 6 Pro. Also, we have facial recognition now and it's pretty fast as well. And again, for their first time implementing it, I was really impressed. I also really enjoyed the quality of the display. The resolution and bigger size gave me an immersive visual experience that was up there with any other high-end flagship. And to show you guys how good the display is, I will be playing a game and watching a video.
Now I would usually get six to seven hours of on-screen time, which was pretty hefty usage to put enough strain on the battery. And I was doing things like watching movies, playing games, planning out videos, and many other things. And even after putting all that strain on the battery, I would end up with about 15% battery left, which wasn't that great, but was still enough to get me through the night. Also, take into consideration the fact that I do have adaptive battery on, and it really did start to adapt how I use my phone. So there were a lot of times where my phone would drop to 60 hertz just to preserve battery life. Now, something else that I loved about the battery was the fact that it had pretty fast charging speeds. Like there were times where I forgot to charge my phone and had to charge it while I was getting ready for work. And it would take me about an hour to get ready. And by the time I was done, my phone would be at 100%, which was just enough power to last me throughout the whole day. Now the cameras on the Pixel 7 Pro were easily my favorite thing that I loved about it. It had some of the best photos and ultimately left me impressed with how great they were compared to other phones. And mind you, it's cheaper. And when we look at the daytime outside photos, we can see that these were vibrant, colorful, sharp, and were able to capture my face very beautifully thanks to Google making their cameras more compatible with people of color. And when we look at the daytime outside photos, we can see that the camera was still amazing, the colors were very accurate, my skin still looked amazing, and it really brightened up the photo even though there was less lighting. Now when we look at the daytime inside photos, we can see that the sky still looked amazing, the colors of objects looked really good, my skin tone still was really well represented, and it's still bringing a great amount of light to help the photo. I will say that even though this is the hardest out of all the environments, the Pixel 7 Pro still held up really well, and I was really impressed with it. My skin looked really good. The graininess was not that bad. And when it came to video quality, I would say that the Pixel 7 Pro was amazing. The videos were vibrant, sharp, and let tons of light in. And to show you guys what I mean, here's an example of a video that I took. And there it is you guys, my review on the Pixel 7 Pro. Now let me know down below, do you guys think that the Pixel 7 Pro is the smoothest Android to date? Let me know. And if you guys made it to the end of this video, I would like to say thank you for sticking around. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe, it will be very appreciated. And as far as social media, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.